Hi, I'm Linda Mal, and welcome to Art This Week. On this week's episode, we visit the Texas Contemporary Art Fair and speak with two galleries that participated in the fair's project, The Other Mexico. From Galleria Enrique Guerrero, we speak with Enrique Guerrero. And from Diagrama, we speak with Miguel Cordera. Now for Art This Week. So can you tell us your name and the name of your gallery? Uh, my name is Enrique Guerrero. I'm the director of Galeria Enrique Guerrero from Mexico City. Okay, so tell us a little about your gallery and the artists that you represent. We open up in 1997, uh, starting with a modern uh, show of uh, Remedios Baro, and since then uh, I do five shows a year for very contemporary artists, young artists. I like to uh, promote the new uh, artists in Mexico and in, uh, in, in mainly uh, Latin America. But I do, um, I do have a, uh, a Japanese artist, but the rest are all from Latin America. And here, um, since we were in the uh, section of the other Mexico, I, uh, I uh, focus on uh, Mexican artists from all ages like um, uh, Beatriz Zamora, the black painting behind us, which is uh, my oldest artist, she's 80 years old. She's been doing black paintings for the past uh, 50 years. And um, the rest are, the, the, I mean, it goes down. Felipe Erenberg also is 74. He was like the uh, fan fatale in Mexico in the 60s and 70s. And uh, Tony Solis is a photographer from uh, from Monterrey, very young, he started as a fashion photographer. Pablo Elguera lives in uh, in New York. He works for the MoMA at the educational department. Uh, is a very, very intelligent guy, and he's the one who does the art tunes for all the uh, art magazines. Yeah. And then uh, Hector Falcon, who did the uh, the books, mm -hmm. and they started like making art books into art. So he was interviewing the, uh, the books with different um, motifs. Richard Stiepel, uh when I met him, he's Czech-born, but he was living in Canada and he lived in uh, Mexico for a little while. And then uh, Jui Kujimija, which is the Japanese artist who lives in New York. Okay, and is this the first time that your gallery travels to? This is our first time in Houston. Okay. No, no, Mex I do seven art fairs a year. I do Basel, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, Brazil, Madrid. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank and you. And enjoy your time in Houston. Can you please tell us your name and the name of this nonprofit organization? Yes, uh, my name is Miguel Cordera yes. and the name of the project is called Diagrama. We're based in Mexico City, in the center of the city, in Colonia San Rafael. And it's uh, an artist-run space that uh, intends no profit. And we show most of the work is related to, to contemporary painting. Okay. And uh, like the limits of what painting could be now. Okay. And the organization is very new. How old is it? Well, it's, uh, we've been running almost for three years. Okay. And in these three years, we've done more than 12 shows. And uh, yes. in these 12 shows, We've shown the work of more than 50 artists. Uh, sometimes uh, the, the shows have been in between two artists or very few solo shows, and the rest have been group shows. From established artists to upcoming artists. Okay. And uh, this, all this work has been uh, focused in the, what the idea of, uh, of the relationship of painting and sometimes other disciplines can become. So the artists, are they all from Mexico City or are they from different parts? No, the, 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 we've the shown country? work from, uh, most of the artists are from Mexico, okay. uh, but we've shown the work of uh, other artists from Spain, Portugal, and Argentina so mm -hmm. far. And uh, we're planning to do collaborations uh, in the near future with other uh, artists from abroad. Okay, very interesting. So can you tell us a little of what we're seeing here? Yes, uh, the, the work that we brought for, uh, for this time and the, by the invitation of the consulate mm -hmm. is, uh, is mostly the work of the four people who founded the project. Okay. So this is, uh, the, the four artists are Javier Arean, who you can see here in the 
most of his work is related to history of, and his his family had to flee the the civil war in Spain so he did this project uh, he's been working that history of his family and and, and the war and the and the immigration uh -huh. so most of this work is related to that uh, to that story and he re replicated that walk that his grandfather did from uh, Barcelona uh, to the to the southern part of France so he 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 did a project for three years ago he did that walk again mm -hmm. with his wife and uh, he did a lot of documentation about that and all these paintings that we're showing here are part of that like historical Very moment event. and his personal family so it's about memory and it's about time and it's about well, pretty much uh, migration and war which pretty much is happening the same right now with Syria for example no? like all these immigrants that are fleeing from yes, their country so yeah. it's it's mm -hmm. it's something that keeps on going constantly in the history of humankind okay. no? <laughs> is this the first time that you guys come to Houston or that you travel yes. to Yes, we've done a, a couple of art fairs, uh, but uh, this is the first time for us here in Houston. Okay. And uh, most of the artists are like middle career or established, like mm -hmm. the ones that we're showing here. And then uh, many have been shown in the US or in many other countries. We're having a show in uh, Berlin with the same group in the Mexican embassy. So it's we've been showing our work around. Well, we're very happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much for your time. We want to thank Enrique and Miguel for speaking with us. The Texas Contemporary Art Fair is now over, but for more information, go to txcontemporary.com. For more information on Galleria Enrique Guerrero, go to galleriaenriqueguerrero.com. For more information on Diagrama, go to diagrama.org.mx. That's it for Art This Week. Thanks for watching. I still got your pole.